Hey guys, it's Monday, July something, and I am about to dye my hair. I had a workout this morning, played some Step Mania. I went a little longer than usual because I kept taking breaks to be really chatty, so you know, I had to make sure I still got in a lot of songs. And then I showered and then remembered I was going to dye my hair today. So I kind of showered for nothing because I'm going to have to shower again to rinse the dye. And sorry for the bad audio in here. I hate vlogging in the bathroom. It's just so echoey. I've tried rinsing my hair in the kitchen sink in the past and it's just too messy. It ends up running down my back and it's it's just much easier to hop in the shower. So just, it's just going to take two showers today. <laughs> I'm not redoing my roots. I've been getting some questions about that because my roots have grown out much more than I usually let them. That's because I want to do a balayage sort of thing where it'll fade from brown to pink. I've always been a little against that look because I would rather just have solid pink hair, but it's just so damaging to bleach it all the time. My hair is gaining length finally because it's not as damaged, it's not breaking so much and I'm not trimming it as much because of that. So that we're just in that ugly stage where it's, it's going to be hideous. <laughs> <laughs> so grabbing my dye, I use Overtone. I used to buy the pastel pink, but now I just buy the extreme pink because there's three levels of concentration. This is the most concentrated and I dilute it with conditioner. This way I have to buy way less dye because I only use a tiny bit of it. So I just need my conditioner. I just use cheap stuff for it because I, I use Olaplex stuff normally and I'm not gonna use that because I'd have to use a whole tub of it. Somebody asked for my hair process in a recent comment and I was like, I show it, shown it a million times, but show it again. <laughs> Usually I also bleach my own hair using L'Oreal Quick Blue and a bit of Olaplex, but I guess I won't be doing that anymore because I can't do a balayage on myself. So I'm going to have to go back to going to a salon, which is probably for the best. <laughs> I like to use quite a bit because I really want to saturate my hair. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then for the pink, I don't need much. I need maybe like this, a little scoop. But we'll see, I might mix a bit more in. I just like to look at the color and kind of estimate. It also depends, because sometimes I want to keep it a little more pastel, and sometimes I want it a little more vibrant so that it lasts longer. And that's how the color looks today. I'm trying to go slightly on the vibrant side, but we'll see. My hair is still just slightly damp from my workout. <laughs> The drier it is, the better it takes the dye. I did try to blow dry it a little bit, but yeah, whatever. It's good enough. Now, with the pink stuff, I usually just grab it with my hands and, you know, just rub it in. I don't really need the brush for this, so really just needed that for stirring. And if my nails are freshly done, I will wear gloves because it'll stain my nails, especially when they're a light color like this, but these are already kind of stained and growing out and they're fine just easier to feel without them so just slather it in make sure it's really saturated everywhere you don't want it to be dry anywhere make sure the hair is just soaked in conditioner it drips a lot though doing it this way so I made sure to move the rug so they don't drip onto the rug when you're not doing the blonde the pink is actually very easy to redo Especially when you don't have to get close to your roots and stuff. Like right up to your scalp, I mean. Because I will use the brush for the pink if I have freshly dyed roots. But that's not going to be an issue going forward. Oh yeah, I also wanted to ask. For those who are hairdressers, how long do you think I should... Let, like how long should I let my roots grow out, do you think? Or how far compared to this? Should I have twice as many roots or can I go soon? Someone was saying I could get a root smudge where they bring the brown down. But I'm just wondering how long I should wait. Because I don't want it to grow out too much. Because <laughs> it just looks bad. <laughs> so if there's any pros out there, I love your recommendations on how to go about this. And that's it. It takes maybe 10 minutes to put the dye in and... It only has to sit for 10 minutes according to the label. I like to leave it for maybe closer to an hour. While we're in here, let's do the cat shame calendar. I pretended to give my mom cuddles, but I was really smearing my poop all over her handmade shirt. 
I just got some laundry going and I'm gonna go pin a few pins. Yesterday we were out of the house most of the day so I didn't get too many pins done. I didn't even finish one batch of 100. We went and met up with a couple in a park and played bocce ball and just hung out because that was our Wednesday plan, but Wednesday was rainy, so we postponed it to Sunday. So that's what we did. And then we also went and checked on our friend's cats and we like to stay there for an hour just to hang out with them, play with them, that sort of thing. So yeah, after that, I worked on some pins. So I'm gonna just keep pinning those. Christian's in a meeting. Okay, my hair's still a bit wet, but here's how it looks. Probably not gonna style it because it's already getting too late in the day. I'm not quite done those baby in a boxes because while I was doing them, I remembered the Animal Crossing event with the mermaid furniture, so I had to quickly go dig up scallops on three separate Switch accounts to summon Pascal. Two characters got pearls, one got the mermaid vanity DIY, so woohoo. I think I'm gonna check on my friend's cats a little earlier than usual today. And I'm gonna bring some prints to sign while I'm there just to get something productive done. I'll still be playing with the kitties for a good chunk of that time, but you know, might as well also sign some prints or something. Is there one that doesn't use a Posca? I guess the at peace. This uses an orange sharpie. I'll bring these. I'm just nervous about the poscas because they have to dry and I don't want the cats to jump up on the prints. <laughs> I need a box. Doo -doo. So, not last night but the night before, I was watching a bunch of Tangled with Christian. Tangled the series. Now I'm obsessed with another song. <laughs> I love Crossing the Line. I listened to it on repeat while I was showering today and getting ready. <laughs> Look, how perfect is that? Good size box, and I'll add a Sharpie and then close it up. I forget if I use the light orange or the dark orange. It's one of these two. I think it's dark orange, because I've been going with the slightly more noticeable signatures lately. The front of the house is noisy. Okay, I may have gotten some snacks from Walmart. <laughs> Instead of putting one hour into the pay parking, I put two hours, so I can kind of just chill. Be here a little longer, eat my snacks, play with the kitties, sign some prints. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time, huh, monkey? Yeah, yeah. Peppy's over there eating some wet food. Oh yeah, macaroni salad. <laughs> There's a ball of yarn in their toy bin, so I have constructed a little toy. What's this? What's this? She's so feisty. Pepe's not too playful right now. I think she wants scritches. Yeah. You want some good old scritches? I barely ate any of my food, but I'm just full. <laughs> I'll just wrap it up and save it for next time. Oh, baby. I went on a little adventure to the garbage room. <laughs> and I'm back. Let's sign some prints. I already have less than an hour remaining. Since these aren't the Poscas, I can just stack them directly on each other. Don't have to lay them out. <laughs> the Tuesday stream will definitely be pin packaging instead of the game stream. Let's do a close up on the print. Whoa, whoa. Here monkey, you signed this stack for me. Thank you. Somebody wants to play again. <laughs> and Pepe is asleep up there. Okay, prints are signed. I'm gonna 
pack stuff up and head out. Sweet little pet. Folding some laundry. <laughs> I should actually prop this open with this because this always wants to close. It closes on my clothes. Got my little helper Kiki. It's a little dark in here. I kind of dig it. I really need to contact the landlord about the lights not working. It is not the breaker switch. A lot of people suggested that, but that is the first thing we checked. <laughs> but for now, I'm getting by just fine with the lamp. Oh, this is still a bit heavy to lift. I should be using the cup. <laughs> The third and final load. We'll start the dryer. Boom. I was fine with the temperature upstairs until I came down here for a while to fold laundry, and now upstairs just feels so hot. Bibbit and a box pins are down there. Maybe I do want a second shelf in here to put all those on because the excess containers are just shoved everywhere. There's some down there, there's some up here, here, here. <laughs> Just wherever they fit. We have more ginger, ginger buns over here. The stickers are down here. I've thought about getting a second one of these, but I just don't think it's really necessary. It was really expensive too. I can just grab one of our shelves from another room. Like maybe this one, but then I have to find a home for all this stuff. And this one here is like the Nintendo shrine <laughs> with all our old consoles on it. And then a TV. Oh, that's just the Wii U down there. No wonder the TV's blocking it. For real though, you wanna know how many times I used that Wii U? Once. I was also just busy with my life. But anyway, <laughs> I'm down here to grab some Bailey J pins. It's the only new pin design of this store update. But that's because there's stickers and washi tape, which are new, and some new prints. But I guess the dinos are kind of new. They weren't at the last update. They, well, for the last two, because the last one was print only. And I didn't have thick dinos the update before that. So it's been a while. It's been a while since I've sold enamel pins in general, actually, because it was last year. Anyway, oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, I have some stragglers I should have pinned here. They're just like gone through. Oh, maybe for next time. <laughs> Look at all these. There's maybe in a box in here too, but um, yeah, I ordered a thousand of the Avatar ones. So I'm probably gonna put five or six hundred up for sale. How many have I done so far? I don't even remember. I guess I could count how many I have left. Uh, I know I have this box here. Maybe I should use two hands. Let's not have a repeat of the stickers. Although that was not my fault. That was a mystery. That was a ghost sabotaging me with the stickers. Probably Teresa. Teresa lives in this room, apparently. <gasps> Do you hear her? Even Kiki got spooked. This room has always had bad juju. And this was my art room. I was down here all the time before, but it was still the spookiest room. I just always felt like I was being watched. Although part of that was me being paranoid about the windows. Like if I didn't have the blinds closed, I thought someone was watching me. So I don't know if that was just like a, a paranormal thing or just a paranoia thing. <laughs> but I joke that Teresa lives in here because I use that like ghost box app to do a video where it's like, oh, ghost tells me what to draw. And the name Teresa came up. Also my grandpa's name, but I cut that part out because I was too spooked. The room that's actually been creeping me out a little bit more lately is our storage room on the other side of the basement. I just keep feeling like there's a man in there. Oh my god, Christian! Smooching. Yeah, plus lights, the flashlights turn themselves on in this the storage room. I've had two separate occasions where I go in and lights are on. One time it was the big camping flashlight and one time it was a string of lights. And I was like, can this stop happening to me? But I always just feel like there's a man in there. Like I, I get spooked sometimes coming down the stairs at night. I like start to glance in the direction towards that room and I'm like, oh. like I, the man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down here to grab some pins. You just come down to see what I'm up to? Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> I was folding laundry, now I'm grabbing pins. Oh, laundry. That's true. I could have uh, flipped that up while you were gone. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. You did lots. He like brought down a bunch of boxes that he folded while I was gone. Like he folded them yesterday and brought them down today. And he washed all the dishes. And, you know, <laughs> worked a full shift. <laughs> I'm gonna count these out this. So you're in bags of 50 of these ones. So 100, 200, 300. Oh, I didn't even grab that thing down, that box. I got too distracted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. Oh, I did 250 already? Well, hell, Bailey of the past. Thank you. <laughs> Let's set aside maybe 400. Because it doesn't really make sense to do five and five because they're new this time, so there'll be higher demand for them this time. So maybe 600 this time, 400 next time. And that's only 200 done. <laughs> 400. And that leaves me 350 to do. Not bad. Wait, if those are the A grades, where are the B grades? Look at all these, woohoo! Oh yeah, there's B here. They're just camouflaging with the thick dinos because they're both pink. <gasps> I better not screw that up when I'm grabbing them. I'll make sure they're on completely different shelves. I'll put thick dino like top shelf or something. <laughs> this all has to be reorganized because right now I have the leftovers from the last print run down here. Although I've since like moved some stuff down like some of these. Although those are technically also from the last print run because I made way too many of these. But these are ones that are already signed down here. So as I sign these ones, I can combine them with the others. Although some of these are discontinued. There will be Mountain Cat and Lena and Vera and Bakery and Lack and Beautiful Nightmare, Universe, um, Silence, Mr. Bun Bun. Um, <laughs> trying to name these really fast is hard. Bubbly, <laughs> Noise. There's some glare. I didn't reorder it. I actually didn't reorder these ones either. That's all leftovers. Breeze, uh, the fish boy one, whatever it's called. There's only a few left, so there won't be many up for sale. Um, there's a ton of these ones. They're still in my box upstairs. This one I didn't reorder. Just the ones that were less popular I didn't reorder. And some of them have just kind of overstayed their welcome. Like I've ordered them a million times. Oh, there's more back there. I thought there was more. We've got the sunflower one. And Jelly Dreams. I did not reorder First Line or Newt. Newt was supposed to be discontinued a long time ago and I kept bringing it back and now it's it's lost its popularity again so it's gone, at least for now. Oh yeah, and I didn't order more Petal Dance because this one wasn't very popular either so I'll have a few up. <laughs> and I just had a moment where I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I was just writing this out because these are going to be labels for more bins and then I write A and B in marker but those are upstairs so I'll just bring this up and then I can cut it into thirds, trim a bit off the side and then it fits in here because they are a bit too long so they need to be trimmed and these are my old thank you cards. I'm just reusing them. I was going to show the ones from last time but I'm actually completely out. These are from two updates ago. They have the old avatar on it and then this is the back. The ones I had last time were, they looked pretty much, yeah, they look exactly like this on one side. And then the back of the card had this artwork on it. And this time you'll get the meeting. I also flipped it because one side is glossy and one side is matte. So last time the side with the avatar was the glossy side, which looks really good. But I made the artwork the glossy side this time just because the colors look a little bit better. So it's like a little mini print. And what I'm going to do going forward is just like, I'm like, I'm not going to necessarily order all new ones every time. Like I will order new ones next time with new art on it, but first I'm going to use up whatever is left over from these ones. All right. I'm all loaded up. I'm going to bring this up and I'll probably just sit on the couch again and grade. I actually kind of like sitting on the couch to do it. I thought I wouldn't like it and I thought it would hurt my back, but it's actually kind of nice. I am now half naked because it was just too hot. It's not even that hot, but it just... That sweater dress is not the thing to wear. 
It's kind of hard to translate my avatar into a simple enamel pin, but I'm happy with how it looks. Look at it. Okay, it is now the next morning. It's Tuesday the 7th, and it's supposed to be the game stream day, but I'm doing the pins instead. And I just want to get through as many of them as I possibly can because I want them done by end of day tomorrow at the absolute latest because then I still have to sign all my prints and do other prep stuff on the store and like take some new pictures and you know. And here's my setup for the day. I put down a towel just so we have slightly better acoustics just because anytime I set something down it just really is loud for the mic. Ideally it would be suspended off the desk, but I just, I move it back and forth constantly and it just sounds like it'd be a pain in the butt. Because sometimes it's here, sometimes it's over here. So, it just stays on its little table stand. Bro, bro this glass is kind of dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. Okay. These coffee mugs are right here, so might as well grab them. They're just in the sink, freshly washed. Was I gonna make a second coffee yesterday? I think I was. This is all cleaned out and dry. That's unlike me. Usually I leave it sitting in the carrot. <laughs> Spilling. <gasps> I spilled a little bit on my thumb and freaked out. But then I made an even bigger mess. <laughs> it somehow flung the coffee all over, here, all over these clean dishes. <gasps> what? Noth nothing to see here. Maybe? They just have to dry again, is all. <laughs> the ones underneath are still look out. Oh! Oh God. Oh, so a lot of people have been asking about the male cat pin. It's that cat holding a letter in its mouth and that was made exclusively for the people who did the subscriber mystery box series. But now that I'm not doing the standalone art videos, that series is probably dead. <laughs> so people have been asking, what am I doing with the pins? And I don't have that many of them. I ordered very few of them and a lot of them are kind of like, you know, there's there's still like B grades in there. It actually got kind of a high ratio on those ones. But it's also because it's a white cat. When you do a light color like that, you're gonna get more defects. But anyway, I have maybe like 30 of them. So people are like, can you please put them up for sale? And I'm like, they would be gone in two seconds because there's only like 30 of them. But also that's not fair because I told the people receiving them that like this is exclusive to the subscriber mystery box. So it wouldn't be fair to then sell them, I think. But I would feel comfortable giving them away in future giveaways because I still have art supplies I've been hoarding that I'm going to give away eventually. Um, probably also my Wacom one because I just haven't been using it. <laughs> it's nice, but I just like, I don't need the Cintiq 22 HD and the Mobile Studio Pro and the Wacom one. So I'm probably going to give that away too. So like, I can include it in giveaways like that, but I could get the manufacturer to do an alternate color scheme. I could maybe keep the cat white just because it's cute. It's gonna make it more prone to defects, but I could change the envelope color. So the envelope is two different shades of pink. I could make it blue instead or lavender or something, just like an alternate color scheme and sell that. So that way there's still that exclusive one. The one with the pink envelope is still rare and exclusive. That's an option. Plus if you, if you make the metal mold, like there's a fee for the mold. Some places might charge you $50, some might charge $80, and then you pay a per pin price. So if you want more pins made in the future, you don't have to pay the mold fee again. Sorry, I keep looking over here because I'm looking at both cameras. <laughs> you don't have to pay the mold fee again because you've already paid for it once. So it's one of those things where the, I have the mold already made, so I would just need to pay for the pins kind of thing. So that'd actually be nice because I, well, I ordered so few of the mail cat pins, they were actually really expensive. <laughs> So, you know, use that mold again. <laughs> when the male cat pin turns in the shiny Pokemon, they can only get through giveaways. Yeah, it's like a shiny Pokemon. They'll be the, the common color and then the rare color. You've never seen the male cat? Oh, I can go get it. I'll go grab one and show it. It doesn't have a square backing because I made it back when I did the vertical cards, but yeah, I should actually go get that. Can you do glittery? <gasps> 
I could keep it pink but do glitter on the pink parts. Although there'd be probably so much glitter getting in the white areas by accident. That's the danger of glitter is you have a higher chance of getting specks of glitter in the wrong spot and so it looks like a speck of dirt or something. Anyway, let's get the mail cat. Let's get the mail cat. I just walked away mid-conversation. <laughs> no one on stream can hear the rest of this. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, those are the ones that aren't on backing cards and these are the ones that are. Ta-da, boobies. These even have the plastic sleeves from back when I did that. So yeah, that's the pin. Now let's show it to the stream. Someone once said it looks like it has a camel toe. Those are supposed to be its front paws, but now I can't unsee the camel toe thing. So its secondary name is Camel Toe Cat. <laughs> Cannot unsee my virgin eyes. <laughs> It'd be nice and purple too. Yeah, I was thinking I could do. Okay, because the washi tape has already has a male cat featuring, like holding a, a blue envelope because there's pink envelope and blue envelope. So blue envelope already exists, but like a nice lavender would be cute too. Or even turquoise, like the backing card color. I could do a vote. We could do a vote. Not right now, but like whenever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I do it. <laughs> Where's your crown ring from? Um, this is from Rock Love. I got it at the Disney, or at the D23 Expo. Okay, it's three o'clock. The stream is done. I probably could have gotten through a little bit more if I wasn't so chatty. <laughs> I was just in a good mood. So, yeah. I have this 50 right here to put on their backings, but they're they're already graded. And then I have a hundred more. So I'm so close to the finish line. Tomorrow's stream, I'm gonna finish working on those and then start signing prints. I'm gonna go check on my friend's cats again and then edit this vlog, so I'm gonna end it here. Wait, <gasps> cat shame calendar. In the last 12 hours, I have chewed through mom's new headphone cord and woken her up from a migraine by playing with my new ball on her bed. I'm a headphone chewing jerk, but at least I'm cute. <laughs> but yes, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And that contained the stickers, the freebie Mr. Bun Bun stickers. They're all, they're all over. Look at, <laughs> so I, Kiki, what have I done? Oh my God. Remember I had them all nicely facing.